Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how you can basically self-host uh, N8N. So N8N is basically a workflow automation platform uh, and I already did it uh, on my side. So uh, this is hosted on my uh, own server at home, n8n.tqc.cfd. I have full password authentication uh, for protection and everything. And we're all going to be hosting this using Coolify on our own VPS. Could be on your own self-hosted machine in your basement, whatever you have. Uh, so let's get started. So first off, uh, start by creating a new uh, project. So if you go to project, you can just click add. Uh, for myself, I just uh, chose this test one. And what I'll do is I'll start by um, basically adding a new resource. So once you click add new resource, you can select uh, the N8N um, service. And there's two different versions of it. There's basically this one that uses the MySQL database. So if you're more familiar with MySQL, we can use that. Uh, but for myself, I'm going to use PostgreSQL because uh, it's easier for restoring um, that I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, so I'll just click and it end with PostgreSQL. And as you can see, it set up the uh, basically the whole service for us. Uh, we'll just click deploy right there. And uh, it's basically going to start the containers, pull the images, start the containers, and then uh, right after that, um, run the uh, images so that we can start using N8N. Okay, so as you can see, we basically add a message starting service and all our containers are started, volumes created. So if we go look right here, we can see that um, we've still got the main uh, N8N container uh, starting but our Postgres database is started. So if we go right here and try to access it in our, uh, basically our URL, let me replace this URL. Uh, we're gonna basically arrive to the um, basically web interface. We're just gonna check the logs of this actual container. If we go to logs and we go to refresh logs, editor is now accessible uh, right here. So if I go there instead. Yeah, so if you remove the port, um, you're basically going to see it. Your N8N server is configured to use a secure cookie. However, you are either visiting this via an insecure URL or using Safari. So uh, what I do is I'm basically uh, going to go ahead and connect a domain to it. It's a choice that you have. Uh, if you want to do it without a, an actual HTTPS um, certificate, you can use the N8N uh, secure cookie um, configuration to false, which is going to be uh, in the environment variables. So uh, if we go to uh, N8N secure cookie, so as you can see, it's not there. We could add it and basically call it uh, N8N secure cookie and set the value to false and basically it will allow us to run it um, without a, an HTTPS certificate but for us we're going to do it uh, with securization. So let me show you how you would do this. So let's just access Cloudflare uh, before and we're going to do this login, go to your domain you want to link up to it. So for myself I'm going to use, um, let's go with my request. And then let's go to uh, DNS. And then what we'll do is we'll um, add a record uh, that we're going to call N8N. And we're going to add that to the root and a NA record. So this is good. And then so it's created right now. So what we'll need to do is we'll just change the uh, basically URL of the actual service. So what we'll do is we'll do just like this, n8n.mybookquest.com. And then if we save the latest configuration, please restart. So we'll need to restart. So just click restart. It's going to restart the containers and show us uh, basically the new domain we can access it via from. So let's do n8n.mybookquest.com. Initially, it's going to be a yeah, page not found, but let's wait for the containers to start like this and check the logs to make sure everything's running fine. So if we go right here, editor is now accessible via uh, this URL. So this is what we have. So if we go ahead, 
so as you can see we now have uh, basically the setup page and it's securized so we basically have the um, SSL certificate the certificate is valid and all of that is free using the Cloudflare uh, proxy um, and yeah that it's as simple as that so then after that you can do you know uh, stuff like putting your name password um, whatever you want to do and then uh, you could you know just log in and start doing your first automations um, so this is the owner account you can just click get started uh, whatever and then yeah you're pretty much ready to start doing it now everything in here is uh, basically doable via the same way you would do it via the cloud version of n8n the one thing i'd say is when you go to credentials and you add your credentials so let's say you add a google uh, ads or uh, api credential one thing will that will happen is sometimes when you add the um you do the login so it's going to ask you to log in uh, sometimes you might be redirected to localhost instead of the actual domain so there's something you need to be careful of is that sometimes it will try to uh, do the callback url to uh, localhost uh, dot dot five six seven eight uh, port instead of n8n.myrequest.com so you need to take that old url and just replace the localhost with this actual domain just take notes of that and now w once we've set up the uh, domain what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and um, set up backup so backup using Qualify is really simple uh, as i've shown in other videos you can set up backups pretty easily on Qualify for progress uh, the minimum so if we go to backups right here we click on backups we can add a scheduled backup so uh, we'll do let's say daily and we'll save it to s3 so let's do then we can select the actual backup where we want to backup to so we'll select one of my um, basically configured backup sources and it's basically going to do backups daily and we don't have to do anything else so it's basically going to back up our workflows that we've created. So if I create a new workflow and I start doing some stuff here, I do, you know, triggers or whatever. This is going to be saved. So each time you click save right here, it's going to be saved to your actual PostgreSQL database. Um, and in this way, you can make sure that you can restore it when you're um, pulling from the S3 bucket. So what we can do is we can basically run a test backup. So if I do uh, backup now, uh, it will be available in a few minutes, as it says. So as you can see in progress, uh, let's just reset uh, like that. Let's refresh. So as you can see, um, and this seems new. So local storage and S3 storage, both of them are uh, basically available you can download it from there or it's going to be accessible from your s3 provider which for myself is cloudflare r2 so this is basically how you self-host n8n if you guys have any questions please come in the discord and open a ticket uh, i'll answer them for free and uh pleasure to help you see you guys in the next one